My name is Monde Sikopo Magolo and I'm FAO's Ethics Officer. I joined FAO two years ago now, having arrived in Rome in March 2020. I'm originally from Zambia. I am a wife, I'm a mother, and believe it or not, I'm also a grandmother. Before I came to FAO, I was working as a regional head of investigations with ABSA Bank in Africa, and I worked in that role for 11 years. I wanted to do something different, and here I am today, two years down the line, and so far I'm enjoying it. Welcome to the Ethics Office. Ethics and integrity for me are very important because I believe that one's professional conduct cannot be distinguished from one's personal conduct. The two go hand in hand. And therefore, integrity for me defines a person's character, a person's standing in society. It defines whether or not you can be a trustworthy person. And that is not only in one's personal life. It's something that you also bring to your professional life. My role entails advising management and personnel alike on ethics and integrity related matters. Our office, the ethics office, plays a very pivotal role in the organization because we play an advisory role. So we have to ensure that our advice also aligns with the organization's values and standing on the rules and regulations. Any organization needs an office that helps to foster integrity, that helps to foster a culture of professional conduct and hence the existence of the Ethics Office. We serve the purpose of advising management as well as employees on the appropriate standards of conduct. And in this case, our advice ranges from advising on conflicts of interest and on other ethical concerns around personal conduct. We also play a very significant role in the organization with regard to administering the organization's financial disclosure program or annual disclosure program as it might be known now. That is a very critical aspect of our role because we help to foster a culture of accountability. We also support the organization in ensuring that the policies, the rules and regulations abide or are fit for purpose as regards addressing ethical concerns. And we also, as an ethics office, are there to provide guidance around what should be considered in the different policies that the organization has. We also are the office that supports the organization's mandate around protecting whistleblowers against retaliation. We want to ensure that people who come forth to report misconduct, people who come forth to report wrongdoing, are protected from any sort of retaliation, particularly because such reports are considered to be made in good faith in the interest of the organization, of beneficiaries and of the general public. And then of course, a very critical aspect of our mandate is around raising awareness, training. Some of you may have participated in some of our webinars, you may have participated in some of our workshops. Our aim is to raise awareness around ethics, around integrity and the appropriate standards of conduct expected of FAO and overall expected of UN employees. We've often been asked as an ethics office why we do not deal with cases of harassment. Whilst it is agreed that these are also ethical issues, the organization does have other units and other resources that would deal with such cases. The ethics office role is that of advisor, both to management and to personnel. And then we have officers like the Ombudsman who are there to address such concerns from an informal perspective. We then have the Office of the Inspector General that is a formal resource available to personnel to go and report if they wish to raise complaints of harassment. There's also, of course, other resources like the Human Resource Department that are there to guide and ensure that policies are in place that would help to address these issues. My aspiration is that we continue to bring added value. We continue to play the advisory role, to be an office that is impartial, that exhibits independence in order to serve all personnel. Ethics issues are not going away anytime soon. Most likely, a couple of years down the line, we will be having new emerging risks around ethical concerns. Change is constant, and therefore, we hope to be an office that works with the organization on its change agenda.